Hi everyone, my name is Kazim Sim and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'll be visiting one of my favorite museums in Singapore, the Asian Civilization Museum, which is right behind me. The Asian Civilization Museum or the ACM is located right smack in Raffles Place. It's just a 5 minutes walk from the MRT station and later on I'll be showing you how to get there. And if you realize my voice is a bit off, it's because I did a re-recording over the actual video. It was quite noisy when I recorded it earlier, yeah. As you cross over the bridge, the first thing that greets you are these balls of steel. It's called 24 Hours in Singapore and it is actually done by an artist called Ben Yong Kwan. And uh, I keep turning round and round, I actually got giddy. It feels like I'm on a carousel. So the exhibition that's currently being shown at the Asian Civilization Museum is the Russell Wong in Kyoto and also live in Edo exhibition. I've actually checked it out uh, prior, so today my main focus is really on the Edgy Fashion Now exhibition. So I really like the ACM because it features a wide range of artifacts and collections from all over Asia. I think it's really the one-on-one if you want to get to know about Asia. So the exhibition I'm checking out now is the Edgy Fashion Now exhibition, which is a collaboration of ACM and the textile and fashion federation. I was looking at this and I saw the color scheme, I saw this little clutch and I realized that it's actually inspired by the Samsung women. actually have this wall here where you can share about your favorite ECM object and artifacts. What you can do is actually scan the QR code here and then it will appear here. Oh my god, it's so cute. Why is there a rubber ducky here? I think it should be in the time lapse. Fashion Now Gallery, which is located in the contemporary wing of the exhibition. Ooh, fancy. This gives me very Star Wars y vibes. Very Princess Leia, although I don't watch Star Wars. But... Okay, so you cannot be <laughs> bringing a bottle of the food, not a bad one. Okay, something to note when you're at the museum. Don't bring around your drinks. Oh my god. What's this? Wow, I have no idea why it's inspired by. Let me go around and check. but it looks cool, it looks very majestic. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. It's like Kabaya slash Sari, I guess. And some Peranakan textiles, I suppose. Okay, I'm kind of right. Yeah, it's Kabaya. And Sari inspired. Oh, it's so cool. God, this is so slick and gorgeous. It's like very uh, career woman vibes and she can just slay you at any point of time. Well, somebody actually wore it for Star Wars. <laughs> so cool. Very National Day slash Chinese New Year. So what's this about? Oh, Ang Shou Oh, this is so cute. I can imagine someone wearing this for home icons. <laughs> Okay, despite all of the dresses, you know what's my favorite favorite thing? It's actually this backdrop. Which basically says SG fashion now. Yeah, very IG worthy, although I don't look 
uh, very in place since I'm not fashion fancy enough but yeah anyway yeah there's a video which interviews all the different designers as well to share about the inspiration for the collection okay, okay but really my favorite favorite one is other than scorpion one is this one this sari inspired dress sari slash kabaya wow so multiracial so singapore Oh my god, this lady is a mood. She's just carrying one huge ass basket and chilling and like smoking and don't give a shit about life. I'm inspired by her. But I guess let me find the caption what it's about. Okay, it doesn't say much, but I guess it's up to my own interpretation, right? This is a wedding procession, so cool. That's what this is. It looks a bit like a security camera webcam. A bit long. A periscope. No, it's actually a pipe case. And it's a case for you to keep your tobacco pipes. It's so freaking elaborate. What's that thing on top? Hippopotamus? I have no idea, what's this? Lion ah? Going to the next gallery, Russell Wong in Kyoto and life in Edo Welcome to... Oh, almost said Uniqlo Welcome to Japan <laughs> Since I can't go there, I guess it's photo works So I'm just rolling around in the grass Oh, it feels so nice <laughs> to pretend I'm rolling around the grass. Yes, it's actually a photo as part of the Kyoto exhibition. Um, and yeah, since I can't go Japan, right? Let's pretend. Uh. Okay, I, I like this. I like this. Very scenic. Very IG worthy, but. Okay, so this part is actually in the middle of the uh, gallery, in the middle of the museum, actually. And this is one of the first few things that you can check out before you. Um, visit the actual Russell Wong Gallery, sorry, Russell Wong exhibition. Yeah, so this is, I guess, a teaser into what you can expect with some of the images that's taken. So, this is actually Russell Wong. very interesting gallery it's called fashionable in Asia and the last time I came here they were focusing on a Chinese fashion and Chinese dress but I guess this year they're focusing more on the Malay world not this year I guess this month I'm not sure how often they changed it when I first saw this panel's uh, title I thought it was Pate Resin but I realized it's Pate Resistance and apparently um, when Indonesia was established there was a decree uh, for people to create a new style of batik. That's so cool, I didn't even know this. But what I do know is the type of batik in Indonesia and Malaysia is very significantly different um, because I guess the one in Malaysia is a bit more bright and vibrant, a bit like watercolour in terms of the colour, like, not that I'm not very good at batik. But yeah, as you can tell, this is, I guess, the Indonesian one. It's more repeated motifs and repeated prints also. Oh, 
this is a new gallery I've never been here before and it smells new too so I guess it just opened to the public Actually, from this, it seems that they are holding something. Oh wait, there are actually a bunch of warriors. The cursed legs. Yeah, oh sorry. Curved, already is cursed. Yeah, I think they were sitting on something and holding something. So we have finished um, checking out the galleries at the Asian Civilization Museum. Um, just to share, it's actually free admission for all Singaporeans, but for the, some of their special exhibitions, like the one here, it's actually paid. So yeah, be prepared to check out, uh, to pay, and also check out how much the tickets cost. And now the fun part of every museum, right? Basically, the museum shop. It yeah, has a lot of porcelain plates. Oh my god, this is so cute. I think they recently revamped the show because now it's in collaboration with Super Mama. So there's like a lot of different porcelain plates and the design is different. And this side here is the uh, I think the items inspired by the collections for this special exhibition. Okay, I kind of like this. I bought a tote bag with this design before at the National Gallery of Victoria. It was 990. It was quite cute, but I gave it to Fadiza instead, I think. I'm gonna say five dollars. Nope. Actually has like batik shirts as well, so it's quite cool. But yeah, some of the designs I don't mind getting. Actually this, I think this is not too bad. It's quite casual, I can go out and wear it since I love shirts with prints anyway. No, actually this is not bad also. Here la, and the colour wise, it's quite patriotic, very national day. You can so imagine me wearing this. How much is it though? 99. Hmm, I'm a cheap skin. La. Maybe I'll find uh, other inspired items. Just kidding. Yeah, I guess the thought logo, yeah. Okay, and that's all for today. Don't forget to tap out. Bye bye to another great video. Shit, I now press <laughs> the exit button. I'm so dumb. The dramatic exit that I have failed. Yay, yeah, okay, back to civilization. Aha! From the civilization museum to civilization. Ha Okay, bye. Okay, so once again, that's all um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video of me visiting the asian civilization museum don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video in case you find it entertaining like what i mentioned this is my very few times that i'm making a video i'm trying to see how i can document my experience um, and i do hope to check out all the other museums in singapore as well so uh, comment down below what other museums you'd like uh, me to visit also Bye.